I'll tell you a story. Uh, Chris Spiller often uh, talks a little bit about this. He has quite Park City, Utah. It's a pretty, pretty cool little town. But again, one of those scenarios where it's endurance based and people don't want to add a lot of weight. Often what he'll do is he'll slip weight on the bar without people knowing it. It's like, you know, oh my God, Chris, this is so doggone heavy. I can't believe you got me lifting all of this weight. It's like, if you're talking and lifting, it's probably not all that heavy. So I, I would say more than anything, it comes back to education. But number two, it's got to go back to what are you here for? What's your goal? What's your result? I mean, what are you looking for out of this program? Are you looking for the check in the box fitness? If you are, then okay, I get it. Maybe we kind of, you know, talk offline about what are your results and be more specific to in order to continue to get results. Here's what we need from you. But more than anything else, when you talk about going to a 5 a.m. and then a 6 a.m., Coach Glassman used to say this quite regularly. He says, be more impressed by intensity, not by volume. And it's like so many of our people want to run now to the old volume, volume, volume. And it's, that's not the secret to the results. The secret to the results is to go faster. That's the secret, more intensity. We need more intensity. So if you want to continue to get your results, you want to continue to do whatever it was you did when you came to this facility, if that's your goal, what I need from you is more intensity. And where that comes is right back to this area right here. Force, maybe adding a little more load. Instead of power cleans, we increase the amount of work that's being done. We full blown go squat clean, okay? Or we make them go faster, okay? We lower the time and the amount of work that's actually given. Say, Rich Froning does? Yes, he also eats peanut butter cookies and milkshakes and all that stuff. He's an anomaly. And so the last thing I want to end on, I'll talk to you offline if you can. Um, <clears throat> these guys that are CrossFit athletes are really, really unique. They are very, very, did I say that right? Games athletes, maybe that's what I meant, games athletes. But they are a very small segment of our community, very small segment. And essentially, if you're talking about this being an example of our entire community at our box, <clears throat> most, if that's your community, the CrossFit Games athlete represents about this much of the pie. <laughs> about that much. It's a very small percentage. Here is what having an, a Games athlete in your gym does for you. It doesn't bring you necessarily more clients. What it does is it provides an experience of expectation in the gym that these things are possible. And what that does is, is it should increase that intensity level across your entire gym. We've said before, men will die for points. They will go in if they're in the right environment. Having a games athlete in your box allows the community in and of itself to feel what's actually up at the ultimate goal, okay? But please, be very careful about taking what you currently have built and trying to focus it all on games athletes. Remember, most of these guys have different schedules and different goals for what they're after. And most of our clients can't go there because they have other things on their plate and other agendas, okay? Be very, very careful with that, all right?